I could die whilst having surgery. But on the other hand, I could die without it as well. Hello, Verity. But I stand a better chance with the surgery. I'd rather take that risk. We know that Turner's patients generally are a bit more petite and that means the operating field is smaller and deeper. So in fact, access is more difficult. There she is. Uh -huh. When you first see a really enlarged aorta, you really get a sense that it's going to pop any moment and you're quite scared to go anywhere near it. But it's still a thing of awe. Good with bypass, all good? Because Verity's young, it's worth trying to save her valve. She's got many more years ahead of her, and if we can allow her to keep her own aortic valve rather than having a man-made valve, it's better for the reason that a human tissue in general is more durable and less likely to get infected. It's certainly worth trying. Peter, with these stitches, you've got to keep the tension all the way around. any of those stitches are loose or spread out wrongly, you're going to get bleeding. OK, cut, please. And the good news or the bad news? Good news. We're halfway around. The bad news is he's got another half to go. <laughs> I used to practice on lots of things. Uh, I'd take a rubber glove home, cut the fingers off, and stitch the fingers back on. And that you might think that's a really strange thing to do, but a lot of cardiac surgery is about stitching circles to circles. So the texture of a rubber glove can be reasonably similar to what you experience in theatre. OK, everyone relax now. It's OK. All right, shall we give it a go? Green's off, is it? Green is off. Doesn't feel like it's filling up. That's getting cool. It's certainly cool, going huh? down. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, certainly do. Stop the plea, Jeff. Got it, please, off. OK, we need a repair stick. Yeah. So what we're going to need. It's down there, wasn't it? Yeah. That stitch might be at the bottom there, so I think I might just have missed something. Right at the bottom. The bleeding is at considerable pressure. It's the pressure of your blood up to 120, 130 millimetres of mercury, so considerable force at which the blood is jetting out of the coronary artery. That has to be fixed. It can't be left. It's not something which is going to magically sort itself out. But you can't be overly aggressive in how you put that stitch. It's got to be placed just right. Nick, we're going to go again with the pleasure. Okie dokie. Thanks. Go for it. Thank you. Can you please on the running? That's better, yeah? yeah. And the green is off, is Nick. Is that correct? Green is off. Good. You hope that the heart is ready and uh, able to take on the strains. What you don't want is for the, the blood pressure to suddenly shoot in the wrong direction and cause everything to start bleeding like a watering can. It's an uncomfortable moment. You can feel the anxiety in the room, and everybody sort of stares at the screen. Heart looks well. happy. ECG's yeah. nice. ECG looks happy. No air. When I hear from Florian that it all looks great, that's uh, an immense relief. That's a sense of satisfaction and a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of euphoria. So, are you happy? One, two, three. As surgeons, I think we're always striving for what we think is the best for our patients. Sometimes the right thing is the easy option, other times the right thing is the difficult option. You've just got to go with whatever it is, but try and do the best thing for your patient. 
the best thing is seeing you come back to clinic today yeah. looking so well. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. I'm looking forward to just not that worry being lifted. I think today's the start of that, thinking, right, okay, I don't have to worry anymore.